gathered to hear presidential candidate Bernie Sanders speak in South Fargo this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. People lined up early and hundreds filed inside to see the Vermont senator who is on a whirlwind campaign through the Dakotas. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop joins us live from South Fargo at the Ramada where the rally took place with what Bernie had to say. Ashley? It was chilly and windy outside today, but that didn't stop presidential candidate Bernie Sanders from being energetic and heating up the crowd inside for the nearly two hour long rally. Now the atmosphere felt more like a party than it actually did a political campaign. People were dancing, chanting and cheering. Now, uh, Senator Sanders had a lot to say in his nearly long hour speech. Here is just a little bit of what he had to say. Sounds to me that you raise tough and good people here in Fargo. Sanders started his speech thanking Ed Schultz for his support. He spoke of an array of topics from income inequality. Create an economy that works for everybody, not just the 1%. Oh, yeah. To investing in America's infrastructure, a free college education for everyone, and a fairer tax system. The rich are getting richer. Corporations are enjoying fantastic profits. You are going to start paying your fair share of taxes. The crowd of supporters held on to every word Sanders said and interacted with the senator. Well, we agreed with you. The hundreds of people inside fed off of Sanders' energy, especially when he talked about his campaign and how it has changed in the past year. Real change is everybody here knows or should know never takes place from the top on down. It's never some president signing a document. Real change takes place when millions of people stand up, fight back, and demand that change. Sanders' rally ended and he was headed off to Bismarck to continue to fight for the remaining delegates in what he says is a tight race with Clinton. At the Ramada, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. Supporters tell us they came out today because Sanders gave them hope in America.